Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy. Switch it to gaming for free. Back again with another informative video. I'm just showing you my new Switch pickup. I got that Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch. I know it's regular price, $2.99, but you can probably get it at refurbished stores like Best Buy. You can probably get it at Slackers. You can probably get it at GameStop for lower than what I got it from. I got it at regular price, $2.99. But in my opinion, I think it's wor well worth it for the price when you think about you getting uh, the straps, you getting the, the the dock, the larger screen versus the Switch Lite and things of that sort. So, and kickstand included with the Switch. Also, you're getting a Switch grip. You're getting this for your, your Joy-Cons. So, all right, let me go ahead and pick up the Switch itself. This is what the Switch look like. All right, you got it in hand. Okay, now I don't have the switch light on me. My daughter got the switch light, but uh, the box is way bigger. And I'm telling you, you got the um the kickstand, then you got the SD card slot behind the kickstand. I don't know if I could do that. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so there. So on the kickstand, then got the SD card slot on the kickstand. It's not the Switch OLED, but I still think it's worth getting this one over the OLED because you get more, you get more for the money. In my opinion, you get more for the money. It is what it is. A lot of people might say because of the better screen, but that's all it is offering you better screen and, and longer display. But other than that, I mean, you can still play all your games. This is my Switch collection. Like, you can still play all your games. The, the only few things I added on was this. This crazy, cause when I had the switch light, I didn't need the the uh, charging dock, the charging station for the Joy Cons. And to be truthfully honest, I really didn't need it, cause I can if if I'm gonna play with this, cause I already had this with my switch light. If I'm gonna play with the Afterglow, uh, and it's still a good controller. This is still a great controller. I, I recommend getting the Afterglow wireless controller, Bluetooth. It's still a great controller for the Switch. I recommend it, in my opinion. I still got it to this day. Go back and look at my uh, videos on the channel. But that's besides the point. Um, and like I said, all the other extra accessories. Like, I've been had this battery pack. And this works with your phone and your tablets and your Chromebook. This battery pack from Insignia, actually, I think. Yeah, Insignia. Insignia. Okay. And it's still a great battery pack. Um... For, for that switch or switch light. Now, this is the box of my switch light. Like I said, I don't have the actual light with me because I gave it to my daughter. But, um, so <laughs> this is how you get with the switch light. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, yeah, it's $100 cheaper. But when you think about all the stuff you get with the, the switch, with the regular switch, not the switch only, in my opinion, I still think the switch. The regular switch is a better value than the switch OLED. If you don't have this, if you if you don't have a switch already, but or you don't have a switch OLED already, yeah, this is still a better value. Or you don't don't have a switch uh light, it's still a better value. When you think about all the accessories and products that come in the regular switch box, um, it's still a better value. Like I said, you got. USB ports with your dock. You got, um, you can you can add in the Ethernet. You got HDMI, all that. So all that stuff like that. I got a adapter. I know you guys seen my other video. I got an adapter for the Ethernet, so I get faster speeds and latency, low latency and stuff like that. Also, um, I got a great deal on this switch case. Uh, the switch case only cost me five dollars at Walmart. Okay, so the hold on, let me let me let me do something real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, we back. So the switch case that I got from for five dollars at Walmart, it comes with um a case for your cartridges, your game, uh, your game cartridges, and then also your SD cards. So you go all uh, place extra SD cards in this slot. In this little case right here, and and it is it's great. I mean, it's 
it, it protects your switch, okay? It protects your switch. And then, you know what I'm saying? You got your cases, you got your SD card cases. So all that for $5, in my opinion, is it's a steal. And we're not even talking about Prime Day videos. We're not talking about Prime Day items. You can probably get this on Prime Day. Um, but yeah, so let me just run through, run down the games again for those that are new to my YouTube channel. I've got a lot of physical copies. Mega Man is definitely one you need to put in your collection. Mega Man 11. Mega Man. Any physical copy of Mega Man is a must. It's a must. All right. Super Monkey Balls. Super Monkey Balls. I don't say Super Monkey Balls. Super Monkey Ball is another must. Mario, for sure. That's a must. Okay, Mario and Rabbids. This is actually a free trial on Nintendo Online. So you get Nintendo Online, you can get a free trial and test this game out. They got a new one coming out later on this year. But try the first one out. If you don't like it, you don't want you might not like the new one. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies. Another great one. Another great one. This is the complete collection. Okay? The complete collection. Physical copy of the complete collection. Just like, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just letting people know. Okay? Pokemon Shining Pearl. Epic. Epic. You got to have a Pokemon game in your collection if you got Nintendo. You just got to. All right? Now, this is one of the newest ones I added to my collection. I didn't put no video out about it. Game Builder Garage. It teaches you how to build games, program, code on your Nintendo Switch. With this. There is a demo. You can try it. Download the demo on the Nintendo eShop. Try the game out before you buy it. I like that. I like that. Okay? Try the game before you buy it. I like it. Pokemon Sword is still another great game to get on the Switch. For those of you Pokemon fanatics, you should know about this game. Pokemon Sword. Physical copy. An OMG Super Street Fighter Collection. Come on now, you're not a gamer if you don't know nothing about Super Street Fighter. You're not a gamer. I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. Super Street Fighter has always had a soft spot for me. Everybody know Ryu. Everybody know Ken. Everybody know Bison. Come on. Everybody know Chun-Li. Come on now. Stop playing with me. If you don't know these characters, you never play Super Street Fighter. Now, don't get me wrong. It's always been a battle between them and Mortal Kombat. I like Mortal Kombat. I love Zone Zero, Scorpion, and all that. But this just had a soft spot for me in my heart. In the bottom of my heart, my mind. One of the first fighting games I started off with on Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, whatever. Super Street Fighter. This is the 30th collect, 30th anniversary collection. There's a difference. This is the 30th anniversary physical copy. Stop playing. Okay, you guys got to get into if you if you're not into gaming, you gotta go back to the roots. Super Street Fighter. And this is this is a real old one, but not an old one, but NBA 2K20. I I don't know how I feel about that guy right there, but yeah, I got NBA 2K20, the physical copy, on the Switch. <laughs> on the Switch, yeah, that's my collection. Throw it out there now. Also, before I leave, I want to give you guys great companion apps that you might want to add to your phone as well as to your Switch because they both work. They all work on the phone and Switch. All right. So, well, except for the Best Buy, Amazon, and Moves Anywhere, but I'm just saying, okay, Reddit, you got to follow Reddit. You got to follow the latest game rumors and, and problems, issues, and people trolling and hating. Go to Reddit. You'll, you'll see all that on Reddit. For Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation. It don't matter. PC, Stadia. It don't matter. All right? <laughs> you're going to find that on Reddit. Crunchyroll. You got to get that on your collection. Twitter. You can actually tweet on your Switch with Twitter. 
Pokemon TV, that's actually an app on the Switch. Hulu's actually an app on the Switch. Okay, Facebook, Funimation, Nintendo Online, there is actually a Nintendo app you can download. <laughs> you can download and subscribe to. You know, so this is my account right now. And that's what we got going on. <laughs> that's it. Just smile. Twitch, Twitch, as you can see. Twitch is on my Switch. Bars. Twitch is on my Switch. Bars. Now, Best Buy, Amazon, those are apps that you want to take a look into for, like, game deals or accessory deals. They, maybe, maybe deals on the Switch or Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you want to have it. Get the Amazon Best Buy app. Movies Anywhere is affiliated with YouTube and Google. Just let you know, you guys want to know about a certain video about that, I'll show you guys how to do that. Discord for your phone to keep in uh, touch with the latest updates and news with Switch rumors and stuff like that, as you see. There you go. Follow the Nintendo Switch uh, Discord. So, yeah, there's some updates. And I think they got a new Kirby game coming out. Yep. New Kirby game coming out on the Switch. It might be for free. might not be for free. You got to keep posting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, we, we got all that going on. And, you know, all the different tabs. Stuff like that. But that's what I got new to the to the channel. Um, I'm doing some more gameplays. I got some new games like Fall, Fall Guys, um, stuff like that. So um, also you can like I said, you can use a stylus. This is a free stylus. You can use a stylus when it's in on switch. It's got a capacitive screen. My bad, that's the wrong side. It's got a capacitive screen. So you can use a stylus when it's in on switch. For apps like drawing and creating your own games and things and that sort of like that. Um, so, yeah. If you guys want me to get in more detail about what all you can do with your Nintendo Switch. What all you can't do with a Switch. Like, the only thing you can't really do for real, for real, out the box is browse the web. I mean, you got streaming services. Like I said, Hulu, YouTube, Twitch. You got streaming services, Crunchyroll. Funimation, so you got Pokemon TV, you got streaming services, so you know I don't I don't see what the complaint is about it. I'm gonna show you guys how to cord cut with your Nintendo Switch. You cord cut with just YouTube and Hulu. To be honest, all you need is YouTube and Hulu, and you can cord cut. And I'm gonna show you guys this in another video and and, and, and apps like Twitch, Crunchyroll, and Funimation. And I, oh my God, you guys should get this out. It's the triple A clock. I'm a big fan of the clock app. So, yeah, triple A clock. It's a must buy on the Nintendo eShop. It's a must buy. I'm just telling you because you can have this as your as your night clock, your night light clock. All right. Take it out, take it out of the dock, set it on the stand, or use it as a regular stand, and this will be your clock. You don't even need an alarm clock no more. This is your alarm clock. This is your wake up clock. The Nintendo Switch. Well, we'll talk about that in another video. But let me know y'all thoughts, man. Um, <laughs> would you like to see more on switching to gaming for free? We we got more free games to show, more demos. We'll put all that on this channel.